What's up guys, my name is Bart Komar, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make these fancy pantsy sushi serving trays. Cause everybody in my family is obsessed with sushi. And to even make a bigger statement with your guests, we got some chopsticks, homemade chopsticks that are really cool looking and they're way easier than I thought to make. So let's get going. Welcome to the Komar Project. So I'm starting with a small walnut slab that a friend gave me and it's seen better days, that's for sure. It has some sort of epoxy on it and a pretty good cup. No big deal though. We're gonna rip it down into smaller pieces on the bandsaw and then get one face and one side squared up on the joiner so I can resaw it back at the bandsaw. And I was able to get two sets of book match pieces out of it. Then I ran it through the planer a couple times and had some really nice pieces to work with. I wanted to add a visual effect to these boards and do some inlays, but I didn't want to spend the time routing and chiseling because I'm pretty lazy. So I grabbed a couple dowels and we're going to achieve that same effect using them. Then using an inch and a quarter, one inch and three quarter inch Forstner bits, I drilled some holes through the boards at the drill press. There's no rhyme or reason to the spacing or location of the holes, but I decided on three, which symbolize our three girls. I applied glue and hammered in the first two dowels no problem. However, the three quarter inch dowel was just a little bit loose in the hole. No big deal, I always keep some sawdust from different wood species in my lunch baggies, so I was able to mix it with some glue and make my own wood filler, which matched up perfectly. At this point, I realized that I probably should have cut those dowels a little bit shorter. They were probably about two inches right there. But the big bandsaw blade made quick work of it, and I was able to plane them down a little bit further with a block plane and sand them smooth up to 220 grit. Then I set the boards aside for a little bit and started working on the legs. These are going to be sliding dovetail maple legs with an arch. After cutting one inch by one inch by 10 inch pieces, I grabbed my dovetail router bit and set up my fence so it cuts one shoulder of the dovetail. Then I could flip it and cut the other side. Then I set up my fence one inch away from the bit and ran the boards through on both the right and the left side. At this point, the tail still wouldn't fit into the board, so I just need to adjust my fence, move it a little bit outward, and that's going to give me, I guess, a bigger dove. Since the legs have a tail, this has a dove. I don't know, but you guys get the point. I got a good fit. <laughs> yeah! Gonna look good! Next I ripped the tail blanks in half which gave me two separate legs from each piece. Then I slid each leg base into the boards marking and numbering each one of those. With these boards being live edge and not squared, each leg will have a different rough cut, which I did at the miter saw. Over at the bandsaw I started cutting out the arches and this was a good opportunity for me to practice some of my freehand bandsaw skills. I'm not great at it and I take every opportunity to practice that skill. And then after that, I was ready to start gluing all of them in. Most of them slid right in, but there was one that gave me a little bit of trouble and needed a little bit of persuasion. With a wet rag, I raised the grain. Just like with cutting boards, these are gonna come in contact with water. And if you don't raise the grain, the first time you get these wet, they're gonna become as rough as sandpaper. So I gave them a few minutes to dry and I sanded the board smooth one more time and I was ready for finish. I'm using Maker Brand Simple Finish, which is food safe and looks amazing on just about everything. It's also super easy to apply. 
Wipe it on with a clean rag, wait about 15 minutes, and wipe the excess clean. It's that simple. Now for the chopsticks. I'm not going to get super detailed into them because I'm using a jig designed by my buddy Pat from Nuss Built Designs and he has a detailed YouTube video on how to make it. But basically I ripped some scrap wood into 5 8 by 5 8 by 10 inch pieces, cut a relief into the back of each stick, and glued in a contrasting piece of wood. Then using the chopstick jig, I could plane each one of those blanks into the desired shape using a block plane. This jig is designed with three different slot sizes. So the first one's gonna be your biggest, you put your first blank in there, you plane that down, you move it into the next slot, plane that down a little bit further, then you finally put it into the third, plane it down again, and you pretty much have your finished piece. Then you can take it over to the belt sander, round it over as much as you want, do a little hand sanding and your chopsticks are ready for finish, which I'm using mineral oil here. The mineral oil is also food safe and it's going to give these chopsticks a nice deep color, which every woodworker is going to tell you is their favorite part. So with that, I think this project is a wrap, a sushi wrap or a roll, whichever you prefer. So there you go guys, these chopsticks are crazy easy to make and the serving trays, well, they're a bigger hit than I originally expected. Everybody loves these things and this is the only thing that we eat sushi on because we're fancy like that. So you don't actually have to make the dovetails, this was just my way of dressing it up and you don't have to do a live edge either, it's just the piece of wood that I had was a live edge piece, so this is what we got. And if you guys want more info on how to make the jig to make these chopsticks, go ahead and visit Nest Built Designs. He's got a video that'll take you step by step. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So that's it guys. We got a really cool and very simple sushi tray that you can make for Christmas instead of all those cutting boards that everybody makes. And you can't have one of these without these really cool inlay chopsticks that are way easier than I thought to make. So if you guys like this video, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you don't miss upcoming builds. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I will see you guys next time.